Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mervs here from Slider. Today, if you're still watching this video, give yourself a big pat on your back because this time I will show you the navigation drawer when this video ends. And in this entire video, I'm going to do only one thing which I want to explain just for a moment shortly over here. The idea is very simple. If the user is starting your app for the first time and he has never started it before, then you want to open the drawer automatically inside your app and kind of tell the user that, hey, look, my app has a navigation drawer. Otherwise, you don't want to open it. The same way, if the uh, fragment or activity which is having the drawer is being started for the very first time, you want to display the navigation drawer. Otherwise, if it's coming back from a rotation, you don't want to pop open the navigation drawer. So the idea in this video is to combine both these conditions in a way like this. If it's the very first time the user has started the app and if the fragment or activity is also being created for the very first time and it's not coming back from a rotation, then you want to start the or show the drawer. Otherwise, you don't want to do it. And this is exactly what is being covered in this video. So the next piece of work lies inside the drawer toggle in the on drawer opened method. Now here, what we want to check is if this drawer was displayed ever before or not. In other words, on drawer open indicates that this drawer has been just viewed by our user. So we're going to go here and we're going to add an if clause and we're going to say if the user has never seen the drawer before then now it means that the user actually saw it just now and we are going to save this setting inside our shared preferences if you guys remember there's our save to preferences here you're going to simply call this method here by saying save to preferences I'll say get activity the name of the preference file if you guys remember is over here at the top which is prep actually key of the preference file which is m user learn drawer the key and the value is what we want to save so we're going to go here we can say key the user learned the drawer and then we can put the current value of that variable over there and of course this is a boolean so we gotta convert that into a string now there's one more thing that we need to do inside our on drawer opened as well as our on drawer closed now when the drawer is open as you guys remember it opens on top of the activity behind it or the main content behind it the action bar as such needs to be redrawn because this thing is overriding it so we gotta go here and we gotta say get activity dot invalidate options menu in both the places when the drawer is opened and when the drawer is closed now invalidate options menu is simply gonna make your activity draw the action bar again that means once your drawer is opened your on drawer open is triggered and now your navigation drawer is partially obstructing or affecting the action bar in some way and the activity is called invalid options menu which means it's gonna redraw the menu that you see on it and the same story goes with on drawer closed so finally coming back to our setup method let's do one more step before everything is almost over so if you guys remember we had our drawer listener the drawer listener basically told us when the drawer opened inside which we decided to update the variable indicating that yes the drawer was opened and we saved that to our shared preferences file and also we redrew the action bar for the activity when the drawer was closed again we did something like that and there's one thing that i have missed and that is to call the super in both the places i'm going to be on super dot on drawer closed and the super dot on drawer opened at the respective places now when and where do we open the drawer that is right inside our setup method here we go down and we simply write one piece of code we are going to have an if condition if the user has never seen the drawer in other words the user learned the drawer as false and at the same time if this is the very first time that this fragment is starting and for that we can have a false on m from save instant state over here and in that case display the drawer so here we can go directly and we can say m drawer layout dot open the drawer and as you can see it requires the view or the id of the view that you need to open here 
So here, if you go to open drawer documentation, it says open the specified drawer view by animating it into view. In other words, if you go to our code here back and if you see which view they're talking about, if it's there right inside our activity underscore main.xml, it is this fragment that they want to open. Now this is inside activity underscore main.xml. We can pass the ID over here and we can create a view out of this ID. So that's what we are going to do right now. So going to our main activity here in the setup method, we are going to pass one more argument and that is going to be r dot id dot fragment underscore navigation underscore drawer, which is basically the ID for this thing fragment inside our activity underscore main or XML. And once we do this, we need to modify stuff. We need to go to fragment drawer here. And in the setup method, we are going to take that ID inside. We'll simply call it fragment ID here. And once we get that ID, we need to find it and initialize it. We're going to say view. And actually, we should make this view as a variable above so that we can use it everywhere. So we go here up and we say private view. And we can say container view, something like that. And we can go down here. And in the setup, we can say container view is get activity. We need to initialize it, remember? We say find view by ID and we pass the fragment ID inside the bracket. Now all we need to do is pass the container view to our open drawer method here and the drawer will open. At this point if you run the app, here you go. What you have is your main content and like I said the navigation drawer or the fragment content is hidden outside the screen on the left right now but if you drag it here you will see that that comes on top of the main content just like I said. However, you will notice that this looks kind of weird, right? And for this, what we need to do is actually set a background color so that this kind of transparency is avoided. We can go here to our fragment underscore navigation underscore drawer dot XML and here we can set a background color. For now, I'm going to just set something. We can revamp the colors later. I'm going to go here and simply say hash E E E. This is basically a shade of gray here. So at this point, as you can see immediately here, this complete screen becomes white, which means now if you pull the drawer, you should be able to see it. Let's take a look at that in action. So there's our two emulators, the lollipop and the pre one running. And if you drag it now, there you go. There's our navigation drawer. Whoa. And this drawer is completely on top of your toolbar out there. Literally, right? So if you want to have the other layout, we will talk about it shortly. But first, let's completely furnish this navigation drawer up. And here again in Lollipop, we go and do the same thing. You can see that it's working perfectly. However, don't you guys think there is something missing? And it's this icon here, which is supposed to appear for the hamburger. It's what the people call it. So we can go here to our navigation drawer fragment. And here we need to do one little thing to make it appear. In other words, we need to call a method called a sync state. Now let's take a look at that method. It's right here. If you go here to sync state, it says synchronize the state of the drawer with the linked drawer layout. This should be called from your activities on post state. In other words, the idea is something like this. The drawer layout object is there existing, right? And the activity keeps getting rotated, keeps getting destroyed, and you open the drawer and you close the drawer. So when the activity comes back, it needs to know some way that the drawer layout is perfectly synchronized with it, whether it's open, whether it's closed. The object needs to be kept in sync with whatever is happening with your navigation drawer. And that's why this method sync state is being called here. So we can go here to our fragment. And since there is no on post create inside the fragment, we can do that inside our setup method itself. We can go down and we can post a runnable. We can say m drawer layout dot post and we can pass a new runnable action here and inside this we'll simply say action bar or drawer toggle that is the name of our object i think m drawer toggle and we can simply go here and we can say sync state here so now when you run the app bam there you go there's our navigation drawer you click on the icon the drawer opens you again click over there the drawer closes it's kind of weird right that you have to click behind the screens and there you go again here in lollipop the same thing happens now of course there are things that we need to do like add a recycler list inside this navigation drawer and that too generating data dynamically from a json that we are going to download from the internet 
So at this point, I believe, believe that I've shown you how to build a navigation drawer completely from scratch. But I also hope that at the time that you're watching this video, you have that ready-made template to save you a lot of time because this is all basically just boilerplate code, which is hectic to write again and again. And of course, you should never do it. You should simply use a template if you have one and avoid all the trouble. But hopefully you understood how things work and we'll continue further by adding things inside this navigation drawer. In the meantime, if you do like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.